Now, before we go on with Monday, May 4th, 2015, I listed out the programs of the reading ceremony of the vision and the voice, Aliester Crowley. Now, I know the Enochian characters, but, um, so let's look at that boggle rendering. What did I say about that one? Can too. Get God's spell. Rhetoric about people. Says I just. Okay. So. The angelic sigils. Uh, sigilia, I guess, you know. Um, for the Almadel. And this would be the lettering of that version of the Almadel. And, of course, we recognize Al as basically the um, power as such. Um, But some of the other terms we don't quite recognize. We may recognize Rachman, Yahweh, Shri Al, Yah, Adoni. Elohim, Yahweh, the Zbout, that's recognizable. Leun, Elohim, that's I don't know what that means at the moment. Um, whom a thon? Nope, not that one. Okay. And Puyem Brown. Yeah. So, everything can be rendered with meaning, but what it actually means is, um, and you got the star that you etch there, and in the holes you would put a candle, and you'd have a crystal ball in the middle there. Um, now if you can't afford a crystal ball that will fill your almadel, either have a smaller almadel or... Um, You know, it works without that. But So Monday, May 4th. It's in the Bahamut Quran supplication twice in part 21 and th 22 of 30. Read page 105 to 158 of 978 Zero one nine nine zero 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 zero. Um, clove sent offering representing psychic development, chocolate representing release, rose representing love. I watched exposing suicidal mysticism of white magic. White and black are not uh, about evil and good, and um, when you're talking about categories of magic. Uh, most people would probably consider e equating a white magician if they knew what they were talking about. 
although he does involve himself in curses and stuff. Um, how to expose the frauds and magic. Um, I don't know how you could tell somebody's intentions, but if you prove that they're just um, a bunch of baseless speculations, that's a different story. How to have sex with an incubus or succubus? Um, well, like a lot of things to do with spirits, the people who do these things often will tell you that you can't feel it for a long time. And so the question begs to say, uh, to ask, well, is it that they've just gotten better with mental masturbation? That they feel like something's touching them? Have they gone crazy and it just happens willy-nilly? Or do they over time develop a connection with spirits that, you know... Um, that they can feel, and... Love's Caravan, Sufism in the West. K. Sridhar's Awakening the Heart, Sufi Conference. So there's talking, but the, he also plays his symbolic, um... healing ragas, um... with his... was this? Sitar, some... Uh, you know, um... I don't know. Well, I can't really mimic those Hindu instruments. But um, so on Tuesday the 5th, I watched Be Still Awake with Mata Lynn Barron. She talks about finding her shake and finally being, okay. Okay, the story about Belial possessing my ex-wife. Well, isn't that who you want the spirits to possess? No, no, the, 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 then you're then they could be even worse upon you, right? Um, but in general, you should just you know, rather than ill feelings in terms of of a divorce, um, it should be just because it's the best thing. Of course, if you're avoiding getting divorced, that would be you know different, I guess. Uh, codes on the Bible. A.D. The Bible Continues. Episode 4. Codes on Conspiracies. Right now I'm watching this Book of Mormon series that's appearing. Um, it's going to be a long one because it's like so a chapter a week for such and such and are they basically setting it to be a program that for the next 50 years it's going to take that long to go through the Book of Mormon in detail to the point that, like, Bible movies have been done? But um, I guess, you know, it's going to be something I watch. I, do, I don't, you know, I don't accept the spiritual authority of it. Um, Korahor and other characters listed there um, can sort of seem to have the better position. Uh, a Rami Umptum um you know doesn't sound any worse than than what they what, you know church and stuff but anyways uh 1243 p.m starts Beltane well that's the cross quarter so the nearest sunset would be that so the night of the 5th of May so it's not August uh, it's not April 31st evening uh, well, while well, the knocked is, but, um, okay, salted caramel sent, uh, representing, uh, metanation, um, mentation, Amadel. Oh, that I made the Amadel. Um, oh, plantation is the symbolism of caramel. 
Now, am I advocating this sort of slavery that occurred in America? No, no, absolutely not. Um, and it still occurs in America. Thank you very much. I don't know if any of the people who've been listening have been slaves or um, colonnade scent offering, uh, representing beauty, um, rose representing weddings, cloves protection, chocolate attention. Okay, I made a new Almadel. Okay, that's what was going on there. Meditative Surah 20 of the Rajesh, Rajkumar Singh, and <clears throat> so 10.30, uh, I mean 11.30 a.m. to 12.06 p.m. A few of them cut off, but it's worth listening to, and I guess... I want to be exposed to the various translations and commentaries that I can have uh, available to me reasonably and otherwise. I'm, uh, if there's something like that on the channel that's old enough for me to present, um, somebody just wants me to uh, see it, um, if, you, if you want to help out that or other spiritual books that, have, that are old being presented... Um, I can't guarantee whatever choice that you have, other than a Quran translation, is going to uh, go up, uh, even if it is 70 or so years old. But um, that is, you know, it's, it's definitely a project I'm willing to let people help with if they want. Um, and I'll try to figure out how to get some of these things done myself, right? I'll listen to the supplication and part 23 of 30 of the Fahim Quran. Chocolate, Semper Offering, Attention, Close. Uh, read page 251 to 302 of Guest of the Sheikh by E. Waiferne. Now, just like any society, you can't look at, per se, a study of a society and necessarily say, Oh, this is the religion. Now, there are certain local cults and stuff that may arise, and we can say this Sufi order or this um, or this spirit cult or something like this. Here's the information that we have on it. Um, but most references to religion cannot be definitively presented by just, hey, this is what happens in this culture. Not all the members of the culture could be part of these groups. Um and the groups can certainly deviate in their own lives from... Okay, I listened to Fahim quran supplication twice in part 24 and 25, page 303 to 346 of that. And Rose, representing beauty. I watch Stealth, Word to Perform Secret Rituals. Now, I believe in the fear prayer. So even the most important rituals can be shortened or done silently or some alter, altering of the positions because there's real reason for fear. Now, are you just trying not to be unpopular or something like that? If there's a real threat to your physical safety, not just, well, people in my country don't like people of my faith, well, that's, that's not the same thing. Um, I mean, of the worst that's ever happened to me performing a ritual was a couple Jews reminding their kids to be quiet because there's someone nearby doing such horizons. I, you know, the person who, uh, the, per the person who was, I was leading in such, such prayers kind of, uh, got afraid afterwards. It's like, see, people know what we're doing. It's like, yeah, and they're being respectful. Um, I've had someone ask before what was going on. Um, you know, what, what's that guy doing over there? Oh, he, he's doing some sort of prayer. Um, nowadays, the main thing I hear is, oh, what a good Christian he is. I'm not, I'm not Christian, but... Uh, um, and I don't believe, I, I certainly don't 
think that there could be a Christ in the way that the Christians say, but in the Greek sense or something, yeah, I, um, I can understand that. Um, so we have different tatwas written out here. Fire of earth, promising future. Earth of earth, manifesting force. Water of earth, self-motivated change. Earth, fresh start. Air of earth, aspiration, ambition. On Thursday the 7th, rose, representing equality. It's the equinox today, so that's a good choice, isn't it? Um, I listened to Faham Quran, Supplication in Part 26. I read 159 to 194, I think. Um, we'll find out shortly. Of that guest of the Sheikh. Uh, no, no, not guest of the Sheikh. What is ISBN? Uh, 157043 to 015. Um, 10.29 to 11 a.m. meditated with Surah 21 of the Rajas Rek, um, how do you say his name? I watched the Friends of Allah, Imam Athening Azam, okay. Um, Friday, Al Gauz Mala Abd as Salam. Ibn Mashish. Okay. Um, Alim Seppa, is that is that garlic? I'll just say it's garlic representing overcoming opposition. Rose representing a quest. Listen to Fahamakbran supplication twice. All the 30 parts plus, you know, the Amina Allahi Surah 12 program, I listen to the supplication with that. And so part 27 and 28. Uh, Love and Law and the Religion of Ethics by Henry Bayman. Oh, okay, it is... And so I read page I to XXXII of The Secret of Islam. Okay, Love and Law and the Religion of Ethics is the subtitle. And on the Saturday, it was XXXIII to LXX. And on the Sunday, it was 1 through 57. So Saturday, it was the Rose Scent Offering representing a secret. 9.51 to 11, uh, 10, 11 a.m. I meditated with Surah 22, uh, 10.57 to 11.52 a.m., maybe 23, 2, I don't know. I watched A.D., The Bible Continues, Episode 5, Finding Jesus 1, Omens of Doom, Lemon balm scent offering, representing gentleness. It's about time for me to harvest my lemon balm, isn't it? I'll listen to Faham Akron. Uh, well, I gotta drive uh, at least a tray of ginkgo first. I'll listen to Faham Akron, supplication part, part 29. And the next day it was 30, and the supplication again. Happiness was a scent, a scent offering for... Lemon balm, rose, aphrodisiac, and I watched the friends of Allah, Ibrahim ibn Adam, and ibn Atta Illa, a second and on, okay, uh, twelve oh seven to twelve forty seven p.m. Oh, p.m. Okay, I meditated with Surah twenty four through twenty six. It's a good practice to have uh, to fall asleep listening to spiritual things. It's also a great practice to do stuff like, um, you know, just meditate. If you fall asleep, you don't fall asleep, but to kind of get you ready for ideal sleep hours. 
So on Monday the 11th, I watched The Friends of Allah, Mevlana Jalaluddin Rumi. Satanic tattoos, gold skulls, inverted pentagrams, and runes. A e wedding video. Um, some of the individuals that I could interview for my channel are interviews. Uh, I'll, you know, try to have something in involving their tattoos. I mean... I'm not going to have them, you know, if they have tattoos on their breast or their butt or something, I'm not going to, you know, have them show those tattoos, but, uh, you know, in mentioning. Um, now, okay, so I read 195 to 234 of Your Roadmap to the Ek Teachings, Volume 1. Books, uh, oh, the Ekankar Study Guide. I made Shadow Box number 66 for my mother. I read 301 to 342 of 40 hadiths on poisonous social habits. You know, with some commentary. I listened to Surah uh, to Sayyid Abu Alala Maududi, Surah 1 and 2. And Rose Scent Offering, representing an aphrodisiac. Lemon Balm release. And, okay. Yahya M.A. Undigo is the writer of the Poisonous Social Habits book. Lemon Balm release. Okay, on the Tuesday, it was Surah 3 and 4 of Sayyid Abu Alala Maududi and Bayan Quran. Introduction and Surah 1. I guess that will be the next one in the series of listening right now. And then I'll take an interlude to share on another ISKCON program. And I got a new computer so I can come up with better memes and, um, you know, it'll be easier to do some of the things that I'm doing. Um, so I watched the Friends of Allah, Imam Ahmed bin something and the old noon al Misri. Okay, um, I don't think that's awakening the heart uh, Sufi conference anymore. Um, eleven thirty one to twelve a.m. Meditated with Surah twenty seven, or just Raj Kumar Singh. You know, it's his translation. There was a lemon balm scent offering representing psychic growth, a rose one of clairvoyance, and read page 58 to 102 of ISBN 1556433324. Or 103 to 160 on the Wednesday. I listened to Sayyid Abu Alala Maududi, Surah 5 and 6. I meditated with Surah 28, and that was 9 to 9.30 a.m. There was a rose sent offering representing compassion. Psychic development was the symbolism of the lemon balm. I watched the Friends of Alal, Imam Ahmed. Uh, oh, Baghdadi. Oh, oh, okay. Um, yeah, there's some issues with some of what's on there, but if they're giving the accounts of these shakes and stuff, I mean, why not? Um, do I have, do I have to approve of everything that's going on with a particular leader or anything? No, I don't, uh, to study what the account of their life is and maybe benefit from their example, but um, we see here my beat up budge dictionaries. I would hope there's a better, and you have to learn how to read the hieroglyphs to read some of them right, and just just have a proper transliteration with all this stuff. Um, but you know, it's 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 a good source, but there's you know some problems, and there's some words that have been figured out since, and 
So I, I have a program on set coming as a political example. Yeah, that's right. Things have gotten so bad in this country and, and, and the world in general that maybe we need to bring up Satan as a political example. Um, I'm, I'm not kidding. Um, so Thursday, I'll listen to Said Abu Alala Maududi, Surah 7 and 8. And Mint Scent Offering, representing Transformation, a Meditative Asura 29, uh, 1038 to 11 a.m. Rose Scent Offering, representing Consecration, Watch Friends of Allah, uh, of Allah Imam Abdul Abbas Al Mercy, or, uh, and Bishr Al Hafi. So I sometimes watch different, multiple programs. Imam al Baghdadi. Uh, okay. Um, no, Imam something. Umeida al Baghdadi. Okay. Um, oh, Bishar al Hafi was what I watched on the Friday. So I was trying to watch at least one program. Sent off for you. Okay. I read volume 31, issues 5 and 6 of Smitter's Perspective. 235 to 307 of ISBN. Uh, one five seven zero four three two oh one five. You know, I tried to write different details for that sort of thing as things went on. So on the Friday, I listened to Sayyid Abu Alala Maududi, Surah 9 through 11. Rose sent offering representing contact other planes, you know, and the mint wealth. When I make these offerings, it's that I'm representing, you know, you're, you're representing prayers. Um, Surah 30, 1208 to 1222 p.m. And I read page 161 to 214 of, okay, is that the Dewey Decimal System number? Yeah, um, 215 to 273 on the Saturday, 274 to 308 on the Sunday. On the Saturday, I watched The Friends of Allah, Al Muhadith Shah Abdulaziz, and Sayyid Und Umar Abdulaziz on the Sunday, 9 17 to 9 29. I meditated with Surah 31. 9.34 to 9.41, Surah 32. 11.08 to 11.57 a.m., Surah 33.36. I watch Going Clear, Scientology, and the Prisoner of Belief. Mint Sef Sent Offering, representing Transformation. Rose, Divination. Lesson to say it, Abu Alala Maududi, Surah 12 and 14. And on the Sunday, it was 15 through 17. The rose scent offering meant good fortune. The mint scent offering meant sleep. And 11.20 through 11.46 a.m., Surah 37 was the meditation. And... So on Monday, the 18th of May, 2015, we have, I read 343 to 384 of 40 hadiths on poisonous social habits with short commentaries, Yahya M.A. Undigo, and remember with that book, one of the things about it, uh, 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 well, the title, Hadiths. There's no plural in Arabic by adding an S on the end. In most languages, that's not the case. Um, I think it comes from Sanskrit. Or does it come from the fact that Greek words sometimes end with an S, but that's not 
that's not calling it a plural, but um, I through XXI and 1 through 51 of ISBN 57043-2023, okay? Um, and there's I through XVII I of the Holy Quran, Sayyid Abu Alala Maududi, with the... Uh, with brief notes. So I started on that blue Quran translation up there. Um, so some of those ones on the shelf I've read over, you know, one, one in particular I've read over ten times. So hopefully with a lot of the books, no matter how many books I get, some of the books are going to be reread. Um, far more are going to be referred to. Um, you don't just read a book and put it on your shelf as some sort of trophy. I've read War and Peace! You know, okay, I got through books like that. Gibbon's Rise and Fall of the Roman Empire, the six-volume set. Um, now, if I had owned the copy, I would have been referring to it for years, probably, but... Um, I read it in the library as a kid, and um, it was important to get through. I didn't have access to to do better, per se, when I was younger, but, I mean, it's, it's just fine. Um, so, 10, 13 to 11 a.m., so 40 and 41, 11, 14 to... 11.44 a.m., sir, 42-44, 12.39 to 12.55 p.m., sir, 45-46 and 46 was what I meditated with. Oh, 11, uh, 8, 11 p.m. to 2 a.m., meditated, sir, 38 and 39, so I guess I fell asleep after, you know, on the Sunday, which is perfectly fine after, uh, you know, I've got to a certain point, and I knew, and then I started up the next day, or just, or just thing. okay, I'm at shadow box number 68 for my father, and 27 for my grandmother, and so a rose scent offering representing harmony, I watched the Friends of Allah, Chisti, Arid. I watched the Friends of Allah, Khwaja, Maynudin. I listened to Sayyid Abu Alala Maududi, um, 18 through 20. And... What is that? 